a month. That's a tough word for me to say. Always has been. We're checking out the animals at the new zoo. Carmen Murak joins us now live from Swamico. Good morning, Carmen. Hello. Nice to hear about the, the tiger cubs. Yep, Very everybody's nice. okay. <laughs> good, so, good. Where are you? Well, we're here by the lions now. Um, we thought we'd talk a little bit about how we're dealing with the hot and humid weather we've been having. And uh, the lions are camped out on a big pile of ice there. Our restaurant workers help us out by uh, letting us steal some of the ice they create there. So we tend to use big piles of ice here and there. And the lions are also, I don't know if you can see, but they're licking on uh, bloodsicles. That's one of their favorite summertime treats. Oh, yum. Did she Some just of say the what I think like yes, watermelons. Ew. Yeah, yeah. Some of the critters like watermelons and fruit sickles, and the lions like blood sickles. Now, do they roar at the same time in the morning every day to get things going? Yeah, and it's not quite clockwork, but they, they do. There are a few periods during the day where they like to just let everybody know that they're here and that this is their territory. and give a shout out to any lions out there in the distance somewhere. It's just part of their natural behavior. My favorite part is when you give at the zoo is when you give the otters the fish sickles and they just play all day in the water with them. Will you be they doing are, that today? Yeah, they, they roll around. We certainly will. Yes, our interns help us out. They do a little program with that when they give out the fish sickles every day. And yeah, we make a lot of sickles. We make <laughs> Uh, in the shape of rings that you can hang by ropes for the giraffes. We've got yeah, a few examples here of some, some large and some small, and some animals care about the colors, others not so much. And um, we also, of course, have a lot of sprinklers going and fans, and a lot there, of the animals can get inside their buildings as well. Are there any animals not on exhibit because of the heat? Um, no, we do keep a real close eye on our red pandas, for one, because they're real heat sensitive. But they've actually got a little air-conditioned house as part of their exhibit. And I actually haven't seen them using it a lot. Uh, they like to just lay up by a fan. Um, snow leopards are a bit sensitive, too, so we keep an eye on them. They can always go indoors where it's cooler. Um, and we've also got fans going for them. They're not fans of sprinklers, however. But they do like the blood sickles. Ah. Well, yeah, the lions are going to town there. <laughs> Well, Carmen, thank you very much for joining us this morning, and a uh, great day to head out to the new zoo. You have a great day, okay? You too. Thanks. See Thanks, ya. Carmen.